So this week we're going to be breaking from uh, real subjects again to look at AMT's 1/350th scale Klingon Verta Prey. Let's open this guy up. Now, uh, right away, you can tell from the side these are the rear baffles that this is not a small kit by any stretch of the imagination. No fully built it's gonna be quite big as you'll see in a second when we take a look at the wings but uh, 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 first up on our this sprue we've got a couple of the um, wing front configuration parts as well as one set of baffles uh, we then have a couple more sets for different configurations that you can build in a uh, total of three uh, first being landed second being cruise and the third being attack which you can see from the different wing position that these different front parts will give uh, continuing on we've got a couple of upper fuselage halves not a whole lot to say here uh, moving on we've got our uh, landing gear pads which are nicely done a couple of the gear door parts as well as the gear doors themselves the landing gear bay and a couple other odds and end parts now this is where you're going to be able to really tell just how big this kit is with this single you know wing sec um excuse me wing pair, pair of halves is it's quite large Fully built, it's probably going to be about. I'll try to. Uh, it's not going to. Uh, all right, never mind. Uh, I'm not going to be able to accurately fit this into the frame, but it's going to be a pretty decent size kit. Um, probably about here ish. Here, let me. Yeah. About. Uh, yeah. About this size give or take so it's pretty decently sized even at 1 350th scale uh, molding on these parts is very nice a um, couple things could be maybe a little hair tinier but that's you no know, getting into rivet counting territory moving on we've got our upper hull half as well as the uh, photon torpedo launcher a couple other detailing parts which are all nicely done and definitely give the kit a very nice look to her uh, we now move on to our lower halves with the, as you can tell by the opening for the landing gear on this spur we also have our uh, weapons which are okay um there's a little bit of warping it, just a hair and it, this also could just be my eye to the disruptor cannons but for the most part they're quite nice um detailing here is adequate there is some flashing but for the most part it's pretty well free uh, the kit also comes with a display stand and nice metal rod for it. Now this is where I was really shocked. Kit comes with metal, white metal landing gear. I mean, you don't really see this in regular kits, so for a sci-fi kit to have this included is a pleasant surprise. Um. As for the clear parts, they're all right, since ultimately they're only for the engine and, again, the torpedo launcher, so they're passable. Now, let me move this stuff back over. And let's get into the decals. Now, uh, I've only given one set of markings, 
Now this is where the kit really falls, I think, and they only give you this one unset of decals for the uh, front of the baffles. And unfortunately, um, you have to use those for all three modes and trim it to fit. This is where I think they dropped the ball and really should have included separate decals for each of the modes as that would make assembly a lot easier. Um, beyond this, the decals are nicely printed and should not present any issues. Ow. Now, one thing about the instructions that I really uh, like is that they tell you right away um, what parts you need to use for which of the modes, straight out. I think this is really smart on their part. Um, sorry, something fell behind me. Uh, I think this is smart on their part as it does help make sure, you, in some ways, to idiot proof it as it were, as right out the gate you're going to be picking which set you're going to use and you're going to go from there. Knowing that ahead of time does make assembly a lot easier and prevents you from making a mistake further on. So uh, continuing on, assembly is fairly straightforward. Just the only issue being here, making sure if you're going in flight versus uh, it landed in the landing configuration, which isn't too ter terrible to goof up. Uh, one thing I do like is that they do include an additional link. I haven't checked it out myself for additional tips on putting together the landing gear for this kit, which is a nice inclusion. As I know, um, case of the Oscow F-22 Raptor kit, when I went to put the, uh, those landing gear, it was a bit of a headache trying to figure out exactly how they were supposed to go together based on the instructions and even looking up, trying to find decent uh, reference photos. So having that is a nice inclusion. Uh, overall though, in terms of the actual assembly of the kit, uh, it's pretty basic, pretty simple. Uh, what gets a little more complicated, however, is in the painting, as there are no decals for a lot of the areas, so you're going to have to go in and paint a lot of it, and unfortunately, without getting it into really just tedious masking levels, you're going to probably have to end up hand painting a lot of it, which is alright, but can be a little tedious. Beyond that though, it will definitely look fantastic once done, and if done properly. So, overall, I, 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 I am pleasantly impressed uh, by this kit. Um, you get a lot of bang for your buck, all things considered. In fact, I actually picked this up um, at Hobby Lobby on closeout for fairly cheap, and even at full price, I would say it's definitely one to look at getting um, if you're interested in Star Trek. As, yeah, I mean, it's one of the iconic ships of the series. The kit is well done. Um, there's no real, no sort of gotcha areas other than, you know, having to clean up the decals for in here. Beyond that, though, uh, yeah, it's one I highly recommend, uh, surprisingly. And given the fact that it's not overly difficult, it's one I can recommend for most modelers as you know someone junior can build it and build it well someone more experienced can build it and build it fantastically so yeah that was a look at AMT's 1/350th scale Klingon Bird of Prey uh, great little kit and one I highly recommend until next time <laughs>